Spandex and mask ready? Good. It's time for some superhero trivia. Hey gang, I'm your host Brian Rollins and this is episode 233 of the Dorky Geeky Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week we've got Daredevil Trivia. The man without fear is here to save your Wednesday from being anything but normal. As always, it's three rounds of ten questions each. I ask the question, you get a timer, and then we see how you did. Even if you got a question wrong, don't fret. Now you've got a cool piece of trivia to show off. You can find out how to support the show at dorkygeekynerdy.com. You'll also find show notes, extra credit material, like other podcasts and videos, as well as show transcripts. I think that's enough to get you started, so let's start. The Dorky Round Number 1. What is Daredevil's real name? Matthew Murdock Number 2. Who played Daredevil in the 2015 Netflix series? Charlie Cox. Number three, Matt Murdock made a surprise cameo in what 2021 movie? Spider Man No Way Home. Number four, Murdoch became what character's love interest in a 2022 streaming series? She-Hulk Number 5. What mercenary was Murdoch's on-again, off-again love interest starting in the 1980s? Electra. Number six. Other than his self titled series on Netflix, Daredevil appeared in what other series on that same service? The Defenders. Number seven. Daredevil played Russian roulette albeit with an unloaded gun, with what villain in issue 181? Bullseye. Number eight. What was the name of Murdoch's secretary? Karen Page. Number nine. Daredevil's original costume was predominantly what color? Yellow. Number ten. During the 1970s, Daredevil moved to San Francisco and was paired with what former Soviet agent? Black Widow. The Geeky Round. Number one, Daredevil was originally published by what company? He's always been published by Marvel. Number two, Daredevil is set to return to streaming in what 2024 Disney Plus series? Daredevil Born Again. Number three, who played Daredevil in the 2003 film?
Ben Affleck. Number four, Daredevil often squares off against Kingpin. What's Kingpin's real name? Wilson Fisk. Number five, in the 2010s, Murdoch leaves his territory under the protection of what foreign ruler? Black Panther. Number six, who is Matt Murdoch's best friend and law partner? Franklin Foggy Nelson. Number seven, what leader of the chaste trained Matt Murdock in the martial arts? Stick. Number eight, what superheroine acts as a bodyguard for Matt Murdock in civilian life? Jessica Jones. Number nine. During the Civil War storyline, what martial artist was wearing the Daredevil costume? Danny Rand, a.k.a. the Iron Fist. Number ten. Matt Murdock got his law degree from what New York school? Columbia Law School. The Nerdy Round. Number one. What is the name of the neighborhood Matt grew up in and later protects? Hell's Kitchen. Number two. Daredevil first appeared in what year? Daredevil number one was published in April of 1964. Number three, what TV movie was the first live action appearance of Matt Murdock? Trial of the Incredible Hulk in 1989. Number four, what pair is credited with creating Daredevil? Stan Lee and Bill Everett. Number five, in the Marvel 1602 series, Matt Murdock adventured under what identity? The Bard. Number six, who is Daredevil in the Marvel 2099 series? Samuel Fisk. Number seven, the villainous Zebediah Kilgrave is known by what colorful moniker? The Purple Man. Number eight. During the 1980s, what writer would change much of Murdoch's backstory and turn him into a gritty anti hero? Frank Miller. Number nine. What was the occupation of Jack Murdoch, Matt's father?
boxer. He's murdered by gangsters after refusing to throw a fight. Number 10. Though originally a falsehood to protect Daredevil's identity, who would later become Matt's twin brother? Mike Murdoch. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed Daredevil trivia. I know the Netflix series brought the character into the mainstream, and I'm glad we get to see Charlie Cox have more time in the role. What's your favorite iteration of Daredevil? Let me know in the QA section on Spotify or hit me up on social media. Just search Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy, and you'll find me. I'll be back next week with another 30 questions. Here's a clue. What country is home to a 47-story skyscraper with no elevator? There's a head-scratcher, and it makes my knees hurt just thinking about it. Jot down your guess and find out next week if you're correct. This was episode 233 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The theme music is by Jason Shaw at audionautics.com. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. Come check out the audiobooks I narrate at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening. Tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now, it's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then, let me know what you're podcasting all about. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds, owner and user of Mint Mobile. And I am recording this message on my phone. I'm literally on my Mint phone. Why? Because fancy recording studios cost money. And if we spent money on things like that, we couldn't offer you screaming deals. Like if you sign up now for three months, you get three months free on every one of your plans, even unlimited. Visit mintmobile.com slash switch. Limited time, new customer offer. Activate within 45 days. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. Unlimited customers using more than 40 gigabytes per month will experience lower speeds. Video streams at 480p. See mintmobile.com for details. Sometimes, I wish I'd lost a leg or something. Everyone can understand that. They never get it when what's been broken is inside your head. Five years after an unspeakable tragedy that changed him forever, Gordy Allen has made a new home with his half-brother, Kevin. Their arrangement works since Kevin is the only person who can protect Gordy at school and keep him focused on getting his life back on track. But just when it seems like things are becoming normal, Gordy's biological father comes back into the picture, demanding a place in his life. Now there's nothing to stop Gordy from falling into a tailspin that could cost him everything, including his relationship with Sarah, the first girl he's trusted with the truth. 
With his world spinning out of control, the only one who can help Gordy is himself. If he can find the strength to confront the past and take back his future. These Gentle Wounds by Helene Dunbar was named one of the best YA books of 2014 and is on Epic Read's list of 20 books that will change your view of the world. These Gentle Wounds is available now on Audible and iTunes. <laughs>